Hello, Tommy. Now, if you know Tommy, on his chair, it actually says the piano man. Tommy got his sure. first piano for his seventh birthday. Uh -oh. And he has pretty much had a piano ever yes. since. And honestly, uh, the brand we have now is Casio. We had a few Yamahas over the years, but they're harder to find now in this particular size that easily fits on wheelchair trays. <laughs> Cause and effect. Now, certainly, you can go way above cause and effect. These are indeed real keyboards. But for Tom, it's all about making musical joy. So let's turn you on. Whoops. There we go. We have the ability to make different instruments. And then there is what we like to refer to as the cheater button. Excuse you. Whoops. You got mommy running all over the place now. You're looking for the cheater button, aren't you? How about if... And you already found the Hello. cheater button. <laughs> mommy only lets the cheater button go for a certain length of time because it will go on and on and then you don't have to do anything. And one of the original reasons Tommy started traveling with his piano on his wheelchair tray was because it kept his hands busy doing something oh. functional. Because if he didn't have anything on his wheelchair tray that really motivated and occupied his time, then he bit his hand or he would... Uh, engage in spitting on his hand and then rubbing it in his hair and this could literally go on for hours until the point of skin breakdown um, with his hand and or um, spots on on his head and we used to worry about um, when he was very little about infection because he would really rub and rub and all it really took was going, hmm, what can we do to keep your hand busy that you will like? Excuse you. Hello. Hello. Mm. And that was it. And we Hello. try to keep some pianos in the closet for when they break. But I have to say this particular brand, um, they're not very expensive. I think, I think they're still running around $30.00. Uh, he uses them round the clock. They tend to last for months. This one has probably been dropped about half a dozen times. One of the other things is with the shape of this here. If you um, have someone who's going to try and toss it off the wheelchair tray, we've actually taken before because you have this spot here and also up here. And we've been able to C-clamp it to tables and trays um, when I've had some students at school um, who find a lot of joy in throwing things. And then once they can't throw it, then you find the joy in making the music. I know I'm talking during your concert. And the cheater button? What? what? We're going to turn off and start over again. And now we're going to change the instrument. So this one actually has 99 different instruments you can make. And there we go, looking for the cheater button. Thomas! Hello! And this is something Thomas does for his joy, which happens to bring joy to others. I can tell you he gets really annoyed when he's out places and people um, who he might not generally appreciate in his daily life actually try and help him play or sing he will stop playing and attempt to turn it off because it's his joy and we all deserve to find our own joy and sometimes enjoy it by ourselves and sometimes share it can we do one more can we do one more instrument there's one of my favorite. La! 
Ooh. Oh, that was beautiful. Thank you. There, there go the fingers. And I have to also say that when Tom was little, um, he had not had therapy in probably two or three years post-traumatic um, brain injury. Oh, wow. And this hand was generally like this. And so he started playing his piano when he was seven, just like that. And then he, on his own, learned how to do finger isolation so that he could make different sounds because it was his choice, not mine. And it uh -oh. tends to be that way with boys. Uh-oh. Are you all done? Bye, Tom. <laughs>